Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm just going to sit and talk to you about my experience with the Brazilian Public Hospital Service. So it's a place I never imagined that I would need to go during my time here, or I hoped I would never have to go, but last week I did. Basically, I had been training for two months. I'd been waking up 5 a.m., 6 a.m. on Saturday mornings, running in the park, and Thursday was supposed to be my last training session. It was gonna be like my last easy run before Sunday's half marathon. I left to go to the park, I was running to the park, 10 minutes later, I tripped, I fell, and I fractured my wrist. So, as soon as I fell, I realized it was not a good sign. I knew that I would need to go to the hospital. And luckily, I was maybe 10, 15 minutes walk away from a, a public hospital called Clinicas. So, I, I was kind of nervous. I think this is every foreigner's worst nightmare, being in a different country, having to go to a hospital. And I'd heard so many horrible stories about the Brazilian Public Health Service. I'm not gonna lie, I was a bit worried. They, maybe they're gonna operate on the wrong body part. So I arrived at the hospital and I said to them, I said, look, I think I've broken my hand. And the woman said, okay, you need to go over there and see this guy. Um, he's gonna give you a number. So the guy, he gave me a number and he also gave me one of these wristbands. So Brazilians love wristbands. If you go to a nightclub, you get a wristband. If you go to the hospital, you get a wristband. If you go to the sports team that I go to, you get a wristband. Everyone gives out wristbands here. I think that the person who like owns this wristband company, he must be a, a really rich guy in Brazil. But anyway, I was given a wristband. Um, the woman told me to come back. She's like, hey, come back. I need to register you. So she said to me, okay, we need your, uh, your document. And I, I had my document in a bag. And she said, well, we need to see it. And I was like, look, I can't get my hand to get inside the bag. So you need like two, two hands to open this bag. So um, basically I just like threw the bag at her. I was like, please, can you help me find it? And she was, she was very sweet. This document thing, I think because I'm from the UK, obviously my reference is uh, the National Health Service in the UK. And I don't think that we would insist on somebody with a broken hand dipping into their bag to try and find the document. I think that would be something that they would maybe do later. Maybe I'm wrong, but I just, I was like, please don't make me do this. Um, but I was thinking, like, I've broken my arm. This is what I was expecting. But uh, obviously a broken arm isn't like a, a life-threatening uh, thing. And within, I think, 45 minutes, a doctor had seen me. He told me that he would need to pull my arm out to get the bone in line. So I went into a small room with this woman and she was like, look, you need to have three injections. So okay. Uh, but she was, obviously she was speaking Portuguese. And she was like, I need one in your glutes. And I was like, my glutes? And I was like, oh my God, I think that's my ass. And it was, it was my ass. Mil bunda? She's like, yes, your bunda. So like, I didn't want to like, get my ass out for the woman if she actually meant like, oh, you're gonna have an injection in your, in your leg. Um, so yeah, I got the right body part. I got my ass out for the woman, she injected it. Um, and then maybe 20 minutes later, I was really high on morphine. They were trying to explain to me what was gonna, like, what was gonna happen. And I was just like, just do what you, do what you want. Do what you want with my body. Do what you want with my body. Another guy sat opposite me. Uh, he had exactly, he'd done exactly the same thing. He was like in a, a basketball accident. And this guy was like, oh, I'm, I'm a Bon Jovi tribute artist. I was like, no way. He's like, yeah. And he said, I don't speak English, but I sing English. So actually, maybe you can help me. Can you listen to my music and tell me if I sound like Bon Jovi in English? Is my pronunciation okay? Shut the heart and you're too late. I was like, yeah, you're amazing. I think he, he was quite good, but maybe not as good as I thought at the time, because I was so high. So yeah, that was my experience of the Brazilian public health service. I imagine it was gonna be awful. It wasn't, and the doctors, the nurses, everyone in there was great. That was the subject of my video today. If you like this video, if you wanna see more, give the video a like, hit subscribe, and I will see you next week.